Now let us learn about electric generator. Generator, it generates, it generates electricity. Okay, it works on electromagnetic induction. Simple, whenever the coil is rotated in a strong magnetic field, the lines are cut and this magnetic field induced electric current in the coil and that current will flow through the circuit attached to that coil. Now the generators are of two types. One is AC generator and one is DC generator. The DC generator or we call it as a dynamo. It is the construction of the DC generator is just same as your electric motor. Okay and in case of AC generator it is slightly different okay let us see the ac generator first i am taking ac and dc both the generators at a time because there is only one difference between their constructions so in this case you have strong magnets this is same i am deliberately taking AC and DC generator at a time because it will be easier for you to remember the figure when you want to draw the figure you want to remember the figure most of the figure is same just with the minute difference okay now let us see what are the same things first in the construction strong magnets are fixed armature is also there that means the uh, winding coil is also there axle is also there axle is also there now the only difference is in case of ac generator we use slip rings there are two slip rings these are called as slip rings made up of brass okay these two slip rings are there and of course your carbon brush carbon brush is there one end is attached to the this slip ring another end is attached to this slip ring these both the slip rings will move along with the coil okay and in case now let us see about the DC generator in DC generator up to this part the figure is same up to this part the figure is same but to this axle we use split rings and all other part is same carbon brush and other part is same this is similar to your electric motor this is somewhat different okay so the figure is same for both except this okay now from here it goes to circuit circuit diagram is there here also it will go to some circuit okay so whenever you are drawing figure when you are practicing figure practice both the figure at a time because only this much part is different in both the figures this is ac generator and this is dc generator okay the only difference is here we use slip rings two slip rings are used brass slip rings are used which rotates along with the axle and here we use split ring that is only one ring is there split one complete ring is there but it is split in two parts insulated from each other and those also rotate with the axle okay so let us see the working of this now how the electricity is generated the strong magnetic field is there whenever the coil 
or the armature rotates in this magnetic field it will cut the line of forces and so this magnetic field will induce the current in this coil for the first suppose this is the brush b1 and this is the brush b2 for the first half cycle the current will flow through the b1 and for the next half cycle the current will flow through the b2 okay so the direction of current will exactly opposite but same in magnitude so this will be alternating current so this will generate alternating current whereas in the case of dc generators these two are always in contact with the armature so for the direction of current is always same so this will be called as a direct current and this will be called as a alternating current otherwise the principle used is very similar to this in the dc generator also whenever the armature rotates in the magnetic field the current is induced in this okay these brushes b1 and b2 are always in contact with the armature through split rings and so the dc current generates here and ac current generates here there can be a question differentiate between ac and dc generators let us see that uh, question whenever we will discuss the question answers